Hey guys, M Tintam here. Today we're going to learn about the new, uh, not the new, the render settings with an Octane Render Blender plugin. So, here we have a stock standard scene, and we're just going to show off where the rendering settings are. So, once you get into the camera tab, you have Render, Dimensions, Octane Kernel, and then the rest is just boring. So, look for the Octane Render Kernel. Now, here we have the kernel the GI mode, the samples, um, along with all of the options. So let's just go through it. So here we have in direct lighting. So if you pick direct lighting, we have the preset GI mode. So ambient is pretty much nothing. Sample ambient, ambient inclusion, and then diffuse, pretty much a fake sort of path tracing. So we also have the max samples, so the max samples is your rendering samples and your preview samples are the ones that render within the viewport. Also have the specular depth, the glossy depth, iodist diffu uh, diffuse depth, filter size, ray ipsilon, that brings me back memories. And also the alpha channel, alpha shadows, and keep environments. So um, let's go to the path tracing and let's uh, change some samples up. Max def, just overclock it as you should. As you should. Um, let's also Go a bit crazy here. Now, also with the PMC, um, we have everything here. Where is it? The exploration. Crank that up. Just crank it. You have to crank it. PMC for you. And we also have the very forgettable info channel. Um, here we have the Z depth pass. The UV Max, which is much more useful within the Z depth. So much more easier. We also have geometric normals, we have shading normals, the positioning, which is good for motion blur, and new graph effects. Material ID, which is good for IDing your objects out. We need to have a mesh ID. Ever since working in Nuke, I need to have a mesh ID now. Uh, wireframe and interpolated vertex normals. Have yet to use this. I will soon. Um, and yeah, that is the rendering kernel for that's the rendering kernel settings within the Octane Blender settings. Pretty much like it is within the standalone. However, it's in Blender. Next one will be the live database.